Hi everyone! In honor of our last day of DCCNS's Egg Week, please join me for An Egg is Quiet. An Egg is Quiet by Diana Aston, illustrated by Sylvia Long. Wow! Look at all these different eggs! There's all different types. Who knew there were so many different colors and shapes and sizes? Let's find out more about eggs. An egg is quiet. It sits there under its mother's feathers, on top of its father's feet, buried beneath the sand, warm, cozy. An egg is colorful. Look at all these beautiful colors. Some of these are birds, some are insects, some are crabs and salmon. One is a cricket. I wonder why they come in such a variety of colors and patterns and sizes. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs, like this sea turtle's egg. There are ladybug eggs, like this one, which is much bigger than you would see in real life. There are pointy eggs like this, which belongs to a common mirror. This is a seabird. They have pointy eggs, so they don't roll all the way off a cliff. If they roll at all, they roll in a circle. And there's even tubular eggs, like this dogfish egg. While most sharks give birth to live young, some sharks, like this dogfish, begin life in a leathery egg case with little tendrils. The tendrils anchor the eggs to seaweed so it won't be swept away in the current. An egg is clever. The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. It's an egg's way of hiding. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it, or it might be gray, the color of mud by a lake. An egg does not want to be eaten. It wants to hide. Can you find the sooty turn egg that's hidden here? Look carefully. Do you see it? Eggs come in different sizes. That big egg belongs to an ostrich. It might weigh as much as eight pounds, and it would take two hands to hold just one egg. The other one is an Anna's hummingbird. They're the size of a jelly bean. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to equal the size of just one ostrich egg. An egg is artistic. These eggs aren't the size they would be in real life but they made them big so you can see all the beautiful patterns on the different types of eggs. I wonder why they all look so different. An egg is textured. That means they all feel different. All bird eggs are hard. Some are smooth, but some are rough like this big cassowary egg right over here. Cassowaries are large flightless birds that live in the rainforests of Australia and New Guinea. They have a crest on their head that looks sort of like a helmet. Reptile eggs, like this green iguana, are often soft and rubbery. Do you remember teacher Abby's fat-tailed gecko? That's the kind of egg that he came from. Now these ones here, those are from a leopard frog. Those are gooey, kind of soft eggs. The goo feels sort of like jello, but it keeps the eggs from drying out. An egg might even be fossilized. That means basically it's turned into rock, but it still used to be a dinosaur egg. Some are as small as one inch across, and some can be as large as 20 inches. Scientists believe that all dinosaurs hatch from eggs. An egg is giving. It gives the little creature inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. The yellow part, or yolk, is its food. And the white part, or albumin, is protection, like a pillow. The shell is covered with teeny tiny holes, which let the air in. 
Here are three different eggs growing up. The top one is a chicken, the middle one is a salmon, and the bottom one is a grasshopper. An egg is quiet, then suddenly, an egg is noisy! Cheep, cheep, cheep! Remember all of those eggs on the first page? Here are all the animals that came out of those eggs. I hope you enjoyed and Egg is Quiet. See you next time.